Let's look at how to name variables correctly. First of all, make sure that you choose a descriptive variable name so that everyone can easily understand by this variable name what is stored inside of this variable. In this case, you see like A, B or C as a name would not be descriptive enough to tell what this variable stores, therefore try to avoid them. Also, your variable name should not sound like a method name, in this case delete items, this is how a method is named, because methods always use verbs, therefore make sure that your variable name never has a verb. Next, in most cases, your variable name should not be in plural form. If your type on the left side is only storing one single value, such as a string, number, boolean, all of them should be in singular form because you only store one single value inside of them. Let's also look at some positive examples. Here, the variable name always needs to be a noun, like you can see, so that we focus on what is stored inside of this variable, in this case, an item, a name is stored inside of this variable or a title, which is always a noun. So far we have looked at how to name variables where you can store inside of them a single value. However, sometimes you also want to store multiple values inside of your variable and therefore you have, for example, list, maps, etc. Here exactly the same naming conventions apply, so don't name your variables like methods, don't include any verbs inside of your variable names. And then also don't use any singular form for your variable names in case you can put many values inside of them. So don't use a singular name, use a plural name instead. So let's also look at the positive examples. Here we call it items in plural, so it is a noun. And we call it in plural because we can store multiple values inside. And here the same for names, we store multiple names inside of this list. And finally, we have said that variable names should be descriptive. However, there are also some exceptions to this rule, such as the names I, X, Y, and so on, because these short variable names are highly known throughout the developer community. And also short variable names make the code highly readable inside of for loops, etc., instead of having very long names inside of your for loops, which make the code really difficult to read.